it's pudding time, Christmas pudding time. This is where you transform one of the great problem areas, one of the great disaster areas of uh, Christmas Day into something so light, so ethereal that everybody will want to eat it and have every last crumb. It is a Christmas pudding souffle, okay? So just make it as you would do any souffle. First of all, you have the Christmas pudding. You need some milk in order to help lubricate the, the Christmas pudding. You need the eggs, eight egg whites and six egg yolks, as you would do, again, if you were making an ordinary souffle. And then you need the, uh, the souffle dishes in which you're going to cook it. I buttered these liberally with butter because that's going to help the, um, the, the souffle to rise and make sure that it doesn't stick and become this magnificent, towering tock of a pudding. So the first thing I'm going to do after that is put the milk in the saucepan, like that, about 300 millilitres. While that's just warming through, we now deal with the pudding. In the, uh, the Christmas pudding, put that on and oops, give it a quick whirl. That's it. That's it. Now, into this, you then add the egg yolks. And there you go, plop, 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 plop. Just pulse it a few times. Ooh, now. Oh, you're already getting that sort of wonderful spicy smells, the cinnamon and cloves and nutmeg. The next thing is just going to take the warmed up milk and we're going to add it to, to the mixture there. And now all there is left, and this is really true, is you've got to whisk the egg whites, fold them into this mass, put them into the dishes, and pop them in the oven. I've just added a little pinch of salt because that helps stabilise the egg whites, as they say. So here we go again with the old trusty whisk. There we go. I think that's just about right. Now comes the critical moment where we amalgamate the egg white into the Christmas pudding mix. You've got to be quite careful at this stage only because you want to keep in as much air as possible because that's going to make your Christmas pudding rise up and look the way that all souffle should. In goes another load. Fold it in. Soufflés are one of those sort of great miracles of cooking. You start off with something that looks completely unappealing, uninteresting, boring, and by the time it's finished cooking, it's been totally transformed. This is the true magic of cooking. It's the act of transformation. OK, in it goes. You could actually pour it into you know, half a dozen of those and serve them individually if you want to be really dainty. But somehow a big souffle just has more drama, more sex appeal. Now the oven should be at about 190 degrees, which is gas mark five. And in it goes. Close it all. So the souffle has been in for 45 minutes and it's time for it to face the world. Here we go. Oh, look at that. The smell is absolutely indescribably delicious. All those spices, you could really get a real flavour of the spices of Christmas on that. I mean, you don't really need to eat this, you just need to smell it. And a quick dash of icing sugar over the top, just to give it that professional chefy appeal. Right, are we ready? Little scoop there. Airy, light, fluffy, just a little bit liquid. Ooh, I don't think that matters at all. And here we have. Ice cream, ooh, just be more generous with the ice cream than that. A Little bit of ice cream on the side. And there you have the perfect alternative to the traditional Christmas pudding. But let me know what you think, or if you've got an even better idea.